Don't let it fall off. Ask if he wants to push one of the buttons. Say, show him which one. Show him which one. And the light came on, too. <clears throat> yeah, give him some candy now. Push the one that show them which one works. Point. <laughs> hey, did you give him his candy? Yeah. All right. All right. How about the other one? Did you give the other one the candy? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Here's a 2007 Union Classic Air Conditioner. My friend's house. As you can tell, it's very quiet and very smooth running. Well, that's actually a rattle trap. If I take this brick off, you can hear it's pretty noisy. And it carries back here. But this brick keeps it quiet. It's just at a family friend's house. This is the data sheet. It's got our 22 refrigerant. Three ton unit. Uh, from the third week of 2007, so January of 07. There you go. Three ton. And I believe REND, that series is 13 series. There's a plane flying over because there's an airport not too far from here in Lombard, Illinois. Um, suction line is cold and sweaty. The liquid line is just about outdoor temperature. And there's a Generac uh, Guardian generator, and that's the gas line coming to it that you see right there. And there's a disconnect for that, and then there's the Wadsworth disconnect for this. It's going to be around still. Still kind of rattling. It's a Copeland scroll compressor. It's a very small compressor for a three ton unit. A small size, rather. You can tell it's very quiet. Kind of storms lingering. It's about 78 degrees out. And muggy. There's a very noisy Carrier Tech 2000 that just shut off over there. There you go, 2007 3-ton, 13-seer, green air conditioner. And a Guardian Generac, 14-kilowatt uh, generator. Let's go take a look at the furnace here. More shot outside. That one's burnt out. Let's see if there's one that isn't. Here's one that's not burnt out. Alright, well, here is the green classic quiet 80. Super, it's a two stage furnace. You can tell it's 80% efficient. There's your uh, chimney. It looks like they redid this water heater vent too, and they installed it back in 2008. Yeah, it's installed it February 9, 2008. Intake, exhaust, condensate, condensate pump, runs this vinyl tube uh, half inch up in the laundry sink there. There's the green unit outside. There's this line set that comes up, you can't see that. It comes down into the coil. It's an uncased evaporator. Liquid lines warm now in here at least because it's about 68 degrees downstairs here. So it's on this nice return box. Because 
his uh, sucks returner in the bottom rather than the side, which is more efficient in my opinion. There's a, ever heard of that Reliance water heater? It's the main return line running up. There's a side view. The furnace. An eye view. There you go. Pretty clean insulation, I'd say. Yep, oh, I'm not going to take off the panels, but I was told that this is 100,000 BTUs input and 80, well, obviously 80,000 BTUs output then. Um, so, and it's obviously it's from 2007 as well. Here's one more shot. Condenser again. Here's the furnace. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Here's the 1998 Kenmore gas furnace running in cooling mode on a hot day. This is the furnace that's tied into the Train XP13 condenser that's running. You can kind of hear the XP13 because it's right right there. 2011 3 ton XP13. So uh, yeah, this is the Kenmore. It's very cleanly installed. That's hot because it's hot outside. The suction line's in on the flex. Um, this was originally matched up to the 1998 3-ton Kenmore air conditioner, but that got replaced due to dog piss. 80% um, efficient. Had some water leakage, as you can see, it kind of corroded the pipes. Uh, 3 4 inch condensate, condensate drain which is dripping. Um, yeah, very nice furnace, very clean and so, so, good thing. Um, this is a 19, I want to say 97, let's see, I kind of forgot. Um, where's the data tag for thing? Oh, here it is, um, 2006, oh, okay. Oh, okay. 2006 Kenmore Power Miser 9 40 gallon hot water heater. Um, but yeah, there's the Kenmore gas furnace running. Not much else to see really. Evaporated clothes, ice cold supply. Oh, it's kind of sweating. Supply duct. Oh, that needs to be sealed. A lot of air leakage. Set at 75. This is a 9,000 BTU input furnace with a four-ton blower. And it's very oversized for this house. This is a raised ranch style house. And it's about 1,100 square feet for each level. So, I'm gonna go take you out and show you the vent. Here, the train. There's a vent. Um, here's the train. And then there's a vent. There's a vent. So that's it. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. That's it.